654 on Wednesday, May 22nd. Before you head out to start the day, here's some of the uh, top stories we've been following. A teenage boy is mourned and mauled to death by dogs that he cared for. The fate of those four dogs will be decided tonight by Dighton's Board of Selectmen. 14-year-old Ryan Hazel of Rehoboth was mauled to death two weeks ago at a home on Maple Swamp Road in Dighton. Town Board of Selectmen will consider whether the four dogs currently under quarantine will be euthanized. Woman accused of causing a deadly wreck in Easton, Massachusetts last week expected back in court today to find out if she should be granted bail. 33-year-old Sherry Vasquez accused of driving nearly 90 miles an hour when she crashed into the vehicle of an elderly couple. Both of them, John and Virginia Macefield, were killed. Vasquez's charges include motor vehicle homicide and assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. Providence Board of Licenses set to discuss the fate of a city nightclub that was ordered to shut down. Seven Lounge on Spruce Street was ordered to close after two people were shot outside the club early Monday. Both victims are expected to be okay. Charges have been dropped against the local police officer accused of domestic assault. That's according to the Sun Chronicle. 39-year-old Gary Rushing Jr. was a Seekonk officer arrested in April of last year after an investigation by Mass State Police. Charges dropped after the female dispatcher that he used to date refused to testify at trial. Rushing is currently in arbitration trying to get his job back. Rhode Island Senate has approved a bill to have all wave license plates replaced beginning later this year. Bill would change the price of a license plate from $6 set in place 20 years ago to $15. The measure was approved by a vote of 27 to 8. Bruins now know who they're going to be playing in the Stanley Cup final. St. Louis Blues beat San Jose last night to win the Western Conference. The Blues will be in Boston Monday night for Game 1. Those are your top stories this Wednesday morning. Look for updates all day on Eyewitness News, the WPRI 12 app, and WPRI.com.